Ready? Right, let me know when you hit it. When you hit it. So this is our new Hydromax pressure washer. It is a 80 gallon per minute and 4,000 pound PSI. Comes with a Honda GX690 engine. Uh, fairly simple to start. Choke, put it about halfway, take the key and start it. Power meter is down here. This is your pump, uh, your oil level for your pump. Uh, you would change the oil on the pump about the same time you change the oil on the engine. Um, this is a uh, Take this off and it would drain the oil on the pump. Uh, this is a pressure relief valve here. Uh, this is for the burner. Uh, simple operation, turn it on, on, cut it off. You wanna keep your temperature between 90 and 75 Celsius. Um, typically between 90 Celsius and 175 Fahrenheit is about where they said to keep it. Here's your your pump and your burner for your hot water. Gas tank for the engine. You can run diesel fuel or number two fuel oil for the burner. Filter. I recommend you know having spare parts. Obviously, having a filter for this, a filter for the engine. This is a 500-gallon clean water tank. We have two 25-gallon soap tanks. Um, we'll probably recommend keeping a good cleaning soap in one tank and a degreaser soap in another. Here's your water hose We're filling up the water tank. Uh, also um, has this Schrader valve here so you can blow air through this hose and blow air, blow the water through the hose in the tank for keeping it from freezing to winterize it. Um, they have travel locks on them so they can't move. And then also on this side here is a thumb lock. So make sure before you unwind it, you have to loosen this thumb lock up and then tighten it up. Grease circs for greasing them. Down here, we've got a screened in toolbox. Here's our two wands. And a nice place to have a step ladder, obviously. two hose reels. Again, travel locks, thumb locks. This is a block off for one hose in case you want to just run one wand. You put this in one that you don't want to run, block it off, otherwise you'd have both wands running at the same time. These nozzles with the black faces are for using both wands at the same time. They're 2,000 PSI nozzles. The nozzles up front, I'll show you in a minute, are 4,000 PSI nozzles. You would use those when you're only one and run, running one wand. Uh, quick disconnects. 
Everywhere. I'll definitely keep some of this as spares to our buy quick connects, male and female. Uh, these are your safe lines. You can either drop these lines in the tanks itself or just drop it right in a five gallon bucket of the product that you want to use. Okay, right here, again, this is a 500 gallon freshwater tank. If you come down here and look at the valving coming out of the bottom, so this is your shut off. So you have this open, you'd have this shut off during operations. You close that and open this for winterizing. This here is a filter. I recommend cleaning this filter. It's a fine wire mesh. Clean this after every job. So when you go from one job to the next, you're using different water sources, clean the filter. Make sure this gasket is orange. You can see it really good is in there. Another thing too, uh, you would take this off. If you want to drain the tank, you would open this up here and the water would just drain out of here. And it just screws on hand tight so with this off and this on now you're ready to winterize your lines there's a Schrader valve here you hook an air line up to it and just blow air through it. And what it's doing it's blowing air through the system through the pump the tank and your lines you'd have the lines open at the rear and it might take seven eight minutes to blow all the water out of it once you do that it's winterized you don't have to use any rv antifreeze or anything like that would recommend your air nozzle to have a trigger on it so you could actually put pressure on it let it blow and unrelease and let it catch up and keep doing that until, until you get all the air out of the uh, the real lines in the back And you shut that off during the operation of the unit. You can disconnect everything. Um, this is your temperature regulator. This is a blow off here. And this section right here, you'll see this line going back to the tank. Um, when you shut your wands off, uh, the, the back pressure with the water and stuff, it'll release that pressure and send the water back to the tank. Kind of saves your pump. Always make sure when you, before you ever start the engine, you have the reel out with a wand on it and uh, you want to make sure the wand is engaged. You want water coming out of the, because you want water to the pump before you start it. So here, right here, is a drain for the engine. These nozzles here, uh, these are 4,000 PSI nozzles. So these would be used for uh, if you're only operating one wand. The black ones on either one, uh, these are for soap. these just have different spray patterns so have fun with it